Let's go, guys. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Oh, that's a good right hand. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. These guys throwing early. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Punch over the top. Just out of the range with that right hand. Throws the right hand there. Mixes it, it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Overhand counter by Choi. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Straight right hand, no good. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. tie there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Shaw. There's another one. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. Don't <laughs> stop it. Take him down. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. What a point, right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Now he's OK. Now he can escape. Korean Superboy get peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And they both stand up. Choi's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Shore. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. DC, that could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards potentially. 
very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be doing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of winning fresh. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Wow, strike is on a whole other level. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Effective punch there by Akhmedov. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing. Unable to connect there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Ooh, nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Big head kick land. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Big kick land. Jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Enters in on the double leg. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down from the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Just over three minutes to go now. Big kick lands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Trying to get the knees going. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, good kicks there. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. And he lands the knee to the body now. Swing and a miss by George. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Oh, big punch land. He just misses there with the left. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Trying to establish that jab once again. Joy gets caught with that punch. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Choi. Oh, now 
trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. of ground and pound punches here by Akhmedov. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Real quick leg kick. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expected the body to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, man. Just misses with the straight right. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Another shot here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. And this is for the dick. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Choi. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not uh, a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try and change immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you. It is not comfortable. So you need to be trying to move, make them make a decision, a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish and then you try and counter them. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Effective strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just missed with the left there. Back and forth we go. Blocks the shot. Just missed on the uppercut. And there comes the separation now. And he landed the right hand there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, countered there with the overhand right. Nicely done. 
Medov's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. He blocks the punch. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. He missed with that jab attempt there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big liver kick lands on the heel. These guys are going at it. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. 15 seconds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Hook to the head there by Akhmedov. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, some highlights for you now on that previous round, DC. Those body kicks were so good, I kind of felt like I got the wind knocked out of me from one of them. I have been on the receiving end on some nasty body kicks, right? And all you want to do is start to carry your hands lower. Problem with that is the kicks start to look like they're gonna go high. He's got to make an adjustment, change something, or this fight is going to continue to go down the same path. Let's go. All right, next round is underway, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me, DC. Maybe, maybe they're doing your sprint workouts during training camp. Or something. I mean, these guys are known for working very, very good. Over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making him think you're going low to come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Akhmedo. Big call from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Back and forth we go. Back to the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Takedown landed now by Akhmeta. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. Round and pound strike there now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Nice straight punch. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to it. That was the right time. Oh, big Superman punch there. Unable to land with that punch. to go to the counter. Ultimately, the execution not there. That's a miss. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Just misses with the jab. Just over two minutes to go. Nice body kick right on the open. Ahmedov gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. 
Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, he's back up again, you gotta like that. Nice diversity in the attack. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Ooh, what a punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. That right hand landed. Nice kick. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upper play. Big knee. Oh, straight right. Oh, collar tie. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, I guess the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges. And big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next one. to go in round four. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. One nice kick there by Choi. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Another punch to the head. Punch is blocked. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Good punch lands. Now a knee. And they separate. You gotta check these low leg kicks. He's gonna try to take him down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Close guard. Ahmedov's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on him. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Big kick lands. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. 
Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, man, look at that. Victor, perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Akhmedov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Beautiful body kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. That shot blocked by Akhmedov. Bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. You've got a little experience with that. Yes, huh? I do. A little bit. Horrible. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. One minute to go in the fight. Beautiful punch. Five seconds remain in the round. Take it down, cut him. Take it down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by the Korean Super Bowl. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Now connects with a right. Continues to mix. Oh! What a 15 minutes put forth. See how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl. Dude.